Hey folks, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to do wall climbing slash wall jumping. So I'm just going to show you a demo of what we're going to do. Here we go. So basically what it is, it's pretty simple actually. So uh, uh, don't mind that enemy right there. Uh, so basically uh, it is like, you know, wall jumping. So as you can see here, we have some wall jumping going on and it slides down and we can tweak it so it doesn't, so it isn't so slow. But uh, we will maybe also add some animations so that is pretty optional. I will explain how to do it. So uh, yeah, this is basically how it looks like, you know, you can jump up on the wall, slide on it and jump up on it, you know, classic wall jumping. So yeah, let's just uh, get started and jump right into Unity. So the first thing we're going to do is, uh, well, let's set up the scene so we have some walls to jump on. So first of all, we need a layer because we're going to need that in the script. So let's just create that right off the bat. So uh, go on to uh, ground, whatever ground. You don't even have to be on the ground, just go here to the layer and click add layer. And then uh, let's call this layer a ground. And I'm going to explain why we're going to use this. Um, and then we are just going to uh, choose a uh, what's called a ground and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. And let's just rotate it on the C axis. Uh, 90 degrees so and yeah let's just uh duplicate it again and set the x scale to uh, no not the x scale uh is it y i guess yes on the y axis and then here we go you have some walls here uh you can also make your own walls of course uh, this is just for testing purposes of course but uh yeah Make sure the layer ground is uh, selected on these. Oh, actually, I guess should should we call them walls? Yeah, let's do that. Just makes sort of more sense. So yeah, mm, they're walls now. Good. So uh, yeah, so let's just uh, jump right into the script, shall we? So first off, we need some variables, of course. So uh, we need. Uh, one web variable called public bool wall sliding. So uh, that is just so we can check if we are actually sliding on the wall. And then we need three more variables right here, and we are going to need a public transform wall check point, and we're going to create that in a moment. And assign it to the script. And then we need a, another variable called public bool wall check. Good. And then we need another uh, variable called public layer mask uh, wall uh, layer mask. Good. And uh, this will be required in the uh, physics overlap circle that we're going to use for the wall checkpoint and we are just going to create the wall checkpoint now so uh, basically we have to do something that looks like the ground check but instead of using the collider as a check uh, thing we're going to use a simpler method that I discovered like uh, one day ago or something which is uh, Pretty nice. I, di I didn't know about it. Uh, someone said it in the comments and I thought, why not use that? We can also use it for the ground check actually, but uh, you can do that yourself. So you can try it out. Well, so let's create a new empty game object. Let's just call this a uh, wall check. Nice. And just move it to the side of the player. Just outside of the collider, I guess. Doesn't really matter. And then we... Uh, so there's something up here that we can add like a, a little a little icon so we can actually see where the wall check is. And also for the ground check actually. 
uh, which is pretty neat. Uh, and then you can see there's different sorts of uh, those gizmos, I think they're called. Um, so yeah, now we have created our wall check, and now let's just assign it to uh, our, what is it called, player script. So let's do that, just drag the wall check over to the wall check point. Nice. And now, let's get back into our script. So, now when we have created our variables, let's go down to the actual checking. Uh, so yeah, wh why should we do that? Uh, hmm. Yeah, let's just do it down the button right here. So, we need to check if we ain't grounded. So, this would be like when we are not on the ground, obviously. So, we want to check when we are not grounded. We want to uh, set the uh, boolean that we created, the wall check boolean, which is uh, going to be uh, to check if we are on a wall or not. So, uh, actually, let me just explain. Uh, I forgot to explain what we're what this is. So, uh, the reason why we put it to the side, the right side, is so uh, when we actually flip the player, it is also going to flip with it to the other side. So. Just so you know, um, yeah. So wall check will be equals to the this boolean will be equals to a physics two D dot overlap circle, not area circle, please. Thank you. Uh, and it will be the wall check point that we created uh, at that uh, its position. So dot position and the radius doesn't have to be very big so let's just set that to something like 0 0.1 uh, remember the f because it is a float so uh, unity doesn't complain and then we need a layer mask and we created a variable called I guess it was wall layer mask just put that in we will choose the actual layer mask in the inspector and then we will need another variable and that will be facing Ah, uh, so we know which side we're facing. So we created that here, I guess, did we? Yeah, we did. And just set that to true, right? I can't remember. Ah, uh, well, uh, oh my god, I already did it. Ah, uh, so just show you. So, uh, when we are actually moving to the left, we want to set the facing right to false, of course. And when we are moving to the right, so when we hold the right key, which this is showing, uh, we will set the facing right to true. And this is for the, uh, uh, when we have to jump from the wall, so we know which uh, direction we should jump, to the right or left. Good, so let's continue. And then we want to check if we are facing right, and input dot get access, so we're just going to check if we're holding uh, left or right. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, do we need that? Huh, never mind. Let's just do it. I will see. Uh, and if horizontal was, which is a float from 0 to 1 or 0 to minus 1, so let's just check if it is over 1 point. Uh, 0 0.1, I mean, and that basically means if it is, what am I saying? Are we facing right? No, it should be over 1. Yeah, I'm just messing up right here. You know, it's late afternoon. Uh, never mind, let's continue. So now we have to do the opposite of this. So facing right uh, isn't equal to true, so just the ex exclamation mark. And input dot get axis uh, horizontal is less than zero point one f. Yeah, that looks fine. I guess does it look fine. Yeah, it's fine. And then we want to check if wall check, which is the boolean right here that we're setting equal to this physics to the overlap circle. And the overlap circle basically returns true or false, a boolean. 
and it is true if it is overlapping some uh, a collider so on on the layer that we specified right here uh yeah basically and then we want to call a function and we're going to create that right here Oops. yeah let's just call this uh void handle walls sliding yeah that's fine and let's just call it here handle wall sliding good let me just check if we are recording we are awesome nice so handle wall sliding um here we just have to set the uh y velocity manually so we will slow down the y velocity obviously when we're sliding on the wall uh, we will set the what will we do we will set the hmm, rb2d dot velocity dot no just set, let's set that to a new vector 2 uh, yeah and the x should just be transform dot no not transform rb2d dot velocity dot x because we won't change it when we want to change the actual y velocity, let's just set the y velocity equals to something like 0 0.7 maybe? We'll see. We'll test it out. We'll just hard code it right now. You can put a variable in and just test it. In the inspector. Ah, which would be a lot easier. Uh, yeah, and then we just want to set the wall sliding variable equal to true. And we will use that variable for something in a moment. So now let's just handle the jumping. So actually the wall sliding is uh, for for the jumping in... Where, where do we do the jumping? Right here. So here we will check if we ain't wall sliding. So we won't do the ordinary... Uh, uh, ordinary? Or the original jump when we're wall sliding so yeah so just set the wall sliding to true when we are actually wall sliding good or wall climbing or whatever i don't know i just called it that uh let's just say input if input get button down jump good so if we press the jump button or the space bar just move my microphone just clever. God. Okay, fine. Uh, let's just say if we are facing right. No, not cube map face, please. Facing right is true. And let's just put an else here. And that will be simple. So, just move my microphone. It's annoying. I need a stand. I like game stand in the air you know just uh let's continue uh uh if facing right we want to set the uh up, we want to add a force like we do in the original jumping thing that we did so opportunity dot add force and the way we're going to do this is uh we're going to do it by adding a direction or something so let's just say new vector 2 and the x should be when we are jumping from the you know we are facing right so that will be we are on a wall that is to the right of the player then we want to jump to the left direction and uh, so let's just say minus 1 comma 2 or 3 so minus one is basically to the left, and then we have the y value here, which would be upwards like three. And let's just time that by jump power. You can tweak this if you want. It should suit your game. So tweak it so it suits your game. Good, and now let's copy it and move it down to the else, which is if facing right is equals to false. And then we will jump to the right. Good. Let me just check if we need something. Uh, wall sliding, facing, jumping. No, I don't think so. 
maybe we should reduce the speeds the player moving when it is in the air. It is totally up to you, but let's do it. Uh, if grounded, so if we're grounded, we'll just add the normal force to the player when we are moving left and right, you know. But if we are not grounded, let's just add half of the force that we normally do. So let's just say speed divided by two. Uh, this may work fine. As always, you can tweak it well, the whatever way you want. So, well, let's check if this works. Uh, let's just make sure if we have actually... Oh, we need the wall check layer mask. Make sure to uh, choose walls because we have to know if we are uh, overlapping these things here. Good, so let's test it out. Uh, it's not, just not maximized yet. So let's see. Uh, mm, yeah, it looks fine. It isn't really jumping that much. What's going on here? What is going on here for me? So grounded is true. Wall sliding is true also. Ain't we setting wall sliding to false? Well, wall check is false, which is nice. So, oh, wait, I think I forgot something. Let me see. Yeah, we forgot something. We forgot to set the actual wall sliding variable to false. There's a lot of wall check and wall sliding booleans here. Never mind. Let's continue. So, uh, we have to set the wall sliding to false. So, if uh, wall check is true, no, it's, it's false, I mean. So if we are not on the wall, and we are actually grounded, um, let's just set it, let's just set wall sliding to false. Oh, oh. Nice. Now it should work. Maybe let's just uh, add some more force to the actual jump. See, instead of minus two, let's say mi minus one, minus two, and maybe five. Ah, uh, yeah. Just try that out. You can tweak it as much as you want so it fits your your thing. I didn't fit. Oh, that's <laughs> wow. That's pretty cool, actually. Ah. Uh, Let's reduce this again. That was way too much. Hmm. Maybe it should be three. I don't know. You can do whatever you want, but we have some simple uh, kind of wall jumping now. And we, you can see we are sliding on the wall. And you can always add an animation by uh, when you're actually wall sliding. You can uh, create another uh, variable here, maybe a bool, and like grounded, just call it wall sliding, and make an animation and make some transitions, and check if we are wall sliding and transition to your animation, and when wall sliding is false, transition back to whatever animation. Uh, I'm sure you could figure that out if with the knowledge uh, you have now. When you have created all this. Uh, well, I guess it's fine. Still bugs me this. Uh, 1.5F. You can basically just stop watching this now. Because everything is done. But uh, Just trying to figure out which is the best one right now. Uh, this is a little bit better. Just a little too much. Too much on the y axis. Maybe it should be two. <laughs> but well, it's fine. Yeah, this is good. This is fine. 
maybe a little bit more on the x-axis but well it doesn't really matter this is just a tutorial where you can do whatever you want with it so that's basically it uh, wow these spikes are like throwing me in the air <laughs> ah well everything works fine i guess uh i hope you enjoyed i hope it is useful i hope you learned something uh yeah thank you for watching guys and see you in the next one goodbye